Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, the number one resource for influencers, creative and small business owners to help you understand social media better. And in today's video, I'm so excited about today's video because we are talking about how to create consistent content for Instagram in 2022. Yes, can you believe that 2022 is here already? I definitely cannot believe this, but if you want to learn how you can be consistent in creating Instagram content for 2022, then just keep watching. Okay, so there is no secret that Instagram is one of the top platforms when it comes to growing your business. So you want to make sure that you have a plan when it comes to creating content consistently. If you create content consistently, I promise you that you will be ahead of the curve. A lot of people do not create content consistently, which in turn does not help them grow their brands on Instagram. So I'm going to share a few tips with you on how I am able to create consistent content for Instagram. Okay, so we all know that consistency is key, right? So the first tip that I have for you is to do a brain dump. Yes, do a brain dump once a month on the content ideas that you have. You can also use Pinterest, the internet, Google, to look up different content ideas so that you are able to have a fresh set of content ideas each month. This is going to help you so much. Do a bulk of the content ideas and then pick the ones that you think will best work for you for the month coming up. So if it was January, I would just jot down all of the ideas that I have and then I will pick the most relevant ones to create content around. So make sure that you do a brain dump. The second tip that I have is to create an inspiration board. You want to be able to create an inspiration board if you're working with a photographer or even if you're doing the content yourself, you want to make sure that you have a mood board or an inspiration board. This is going to help you stay on task and this is going to help you be able to create content more efficiently and effectively. You'll know exactly what type of shots that you want. If you're working with a photographer, you'll be able to tell your photographer what type of shots you are looking for as well. The third tip that I have is to either you get a tripod or you take the pictures yourself. So once you have done a brain dump, once you have figured out what shots that you're going to get, now is the time to think about if you're going to get a photographer or if you are going to take the pictures yourself. Your iPhone is a really good tool, so do not forget about your amazing iPhone. If you don't have anyone to take the pictures for you, no worries at all. Definitely grab your tripod, set up your self timer, and there you go. But if you have a photographer, please make sure to share again. Share your mood board with them so that they are on, you guys can be on the same page. So don't fret if you do not have a photographer. I believe me, you can totally do this by yourself, okay? You do not have to make it as hard as you think it is. It is not as hard as you think it is. The fourth tip that I have for you is to choose a location. I have used Peer Space for a lot of the studios that I have created content in. Peer Space is a great place to find spaces in your area. I'm going to leave the link below in the description box to Spirit Peer Space so you can check out their amazing studios. They have so many affordable studios in a lot of places around the United States. So if you're looking for a place that you can shoot content in, definitely check out Peer Space. I've also utilized Airbnb as well to rent out to create content as well. And the fifth tip that I have for you is to shoot the content. So once you have, number one, done a brain dump of all the content ideas that you are looking to do on Instagram, you've narrowed that down. The second thing you're going to do is, is you're going to create an inspiration board and a mood board. You're gonna find a photographer or you're going to do it yourself with your tripod and your handy dandy timer that you can definitely get from Amazon. Then you're gonna find an amazing location and you're going to shoot your content. So I hope that these tips were very helpful to you. Remember, in order to grow on Instagram, you have to be consistent. You have to be willing to put in the work and do what it takes in order to grow your brand or business on Instagram. 
It is not like it used to be two, three, four, five, maybe even six years ago. Instagram has definitely become a place where it's relevant with more videos and, and more content that people, you know, it has to be interesting for them to consume. So just keep that in mind. But with consistency, you will be able to grow on Instagram. And I'm excited for you to do just that. So if you want more tips like these amazing tips that I share here on YouTube, definitely check out the Expand Your Influence Facebook group. I'll leave the link down below in the description box so you can come on over and join the group. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video and I will talk to you all in the next one. Peace.